You are not meant to see this part, so close your eyes right now as I set up the camera and crawl back into bed. Oh, yeah! This is my kind of video! <sighs> also, I apologize if I look barely human. I accidentally filmed on a potato and so I remastered the footage from this. To this. It's pretty cool technology, except it occasionally creates nightmare fuel. But don't worry, it gets much better once I leave my room. I think we can all agree that this is where morning routines typically start in bed. And we are not meant to question how I am filming myself sleeping. I think what's best is that we officially commence the morning routine starting right now. <sighs> oh my goodness, I just woke up. <laughs> Good morning, friends. This is how it all starts. Typically, the first thing I do is give my phone a little tippity tap, see what time it is. And next, this is a new development for me. My new favorite thing about waking up in the morning is checking to see if I have a good morning text from the boy that I am absolutely obsessed with. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, these good morning texts wake me up subconsciously. Like, I'll wake up at six in the morning and Mike, do I have a text yet? No, it's six in the morning. He's asleep and I should also be asleep. And would you look at that? I have a text that says, good morning, sweet thing. One more wake up till you see me. I know I just feel like I can conquer the world. How long has my boob been out? Next, I feel like this is kind of unique. Every single morning, I switch my phone over from dark mode to light mode. And same goes for at nighttime, I switch it from light mode to dark mode because I have one of those dynamic wallpaper backgrounds. So it literally switches from nighttime to daytime. And then I like to click on Pokemon Go and see what Pokemon is waiting outside of my apartment. <laughs> now comes a very crucial moment in our relationship. Let the record show that I sleep with a pillow between my legs. Every single night ever since I was little, this is a thing. Now let's do something healthy for a change and chug this water. I try to be very good about my morning chug. There's something about future me that I don't fully trust. And so morning me tries to be responsible for the both of us. Cheers to that. And now I can get the ball rolling. It's like a snowball effect of productiveness. And I'm gonna make my bed. My neighbors can see into my bedroom and it's important to me that when they look in here, they see a made bed. <laughs> I have exciting news. Um, the construction just started next door, so <laughs> we have that to look forward to. Let's now passionately discuss my slippers. How freaking cute are those? Ooh. Ah. So Dee is at work today, but when she is here, I sneak into the bathroom, turn the doorknob, and close it as quietly as possibly possible. And look at this. This came with my, my PJs. You never would have guessed. Oh. I've not tried it on yet. It's actually really cute. Now it's time to make my teeth sparkle. I have already brushed my teeth this morning. I have this mental block where I cannot film if my teeth are not brushed, but this is a morning routine reenactment. So while I let the water heat up, I <laughs> brushing my teeth for a second time this morning reminded me of I, when I was a little girl. I had this poster in my room of young Prince William, and I had the hugest crush on him. <laughs> Didn't know anything about him really, just that he was a prince, and this poster was really cute. And my mom told me that princesses have really white smiles, and so I became obsessed with brushing my teeth. Like, like six times a day. I've always been so driven by boys, now that I think about it. I should probably keep that to myself, but it's the truth. 
finally we've arrived to the wet hamster content that we've all been waiting for. So all I use in the morning is my sensitive skin soap and then this CeraVe, CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This feels so gentle and friendly to my skin. And I always brush out my brows, show them a little love, and my eyelashes. Oh, we lost one. Rest in peace. And then some watermelon lip balm to top it all off. Now I'm gonna wipe down the bathroom and I'm gonna use Blue Land to do that. Today's sponsor. Blue Land makes cleaning products that are a more environmentally friendly option, which I really appreciate because I definitely have room for improvement when it comes to not buying so many single use plastics. The plastics are only cool if it's in Mean Girls. And even then, it's debatable. So unlike your traditional liquid cleaning products, with Blue Land, all you need is this little tablet. Once you run out of your product, you don't throw it away and go get a whole new single-use plastic bottle. Instead, you just get a new tablet that comes in this compostable, environmentally friendly packaging and you're good as new. So basically, all I gotta do is fill up this bottle with warm or hot water. You fill up your cup to the line. You plop your tablet in. Then once it's done fizzing, you put on the lid and you're ready to start cleaning. So I got the Clean Essentials Kit which comes with this bathroom cleaner, this multi-surface cleaner, and this glass slash mirror cleaner. Also that hand soap that you see right there. All you gotta do is click the link in my description box for 20% off your first kit. Now let's start scrub-a-dub dubbing. <laughs> Now it's time to let the light in, open up the curtains. Aren't these daisies so lovely? They have been thriving for about a month now. I thought that their lifespan would be much shorter, but I think they feel the love. I got sick like a month ago and the boy that I keep gushing about, he called me and we had bad phone service and he's like, do you wanna just come say hi in person? And I'm like, what? And I go downstairs and he had flowers and two get better smoothies and lottery scratchers. I love lottery scratchers. I have to show you my favorite lamp of all time. This belonged to Bama, my grandma. All my life, my cousin Morgan and I were absolutely in love with this fruit lamp. We always ask Bama, please Bama, one day give me the fruit lamp. We're both saying this. And as much as I thought that this fruit lamp would go to me, it did not. Out of the kindness of Morgan's heart, she is letting me babysit the fruit lamp while her house is under reconstruction. So for now, I am just soaking up every second with this little thing. Before I forget, I'm going to turn on my pretty lights. So now I am going to get some coffee going. And I used to be a coffee every day kind of gal, but ever since I went through that horrible life altering anxiety last year where I developed a panic disorder for like six months, um, I stopped drinking caffeine. So this is actually Emma Chamberlain's Sleepy Sloth Decaf Blend. It matches my nails. And I just have this on special occasions. And today's a special occasion, of course, because you're here. I got my favorite cup out, and now I'm going to get the coffee ice cubes that are also made with the decaf blend. I'm so excited. I haven't had this in like a few months. I tried absolutely everything I could to feel better naturally. So I completely cut out caffeine and sugar. All I drank was water. I started going to the beach every day because I read that if you walk barefoot, on grass or soil or sand. It's good for your nervous system. I also started doing acupuncture, which was spooky, kind of. And I did that like every day for, I think, a solid six months. And no matter what, 
I could not get rid of the physical symptoms that come with anxiety. Like I would just physically feel awful even though my brain was happy. It was quite strange and I'd never been through something so terrible before, so I had no idea if there really was a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh! I finally talked to my doctor lady that my mom, my grandma, and I all go to, and I absolutely adore her. I was so against medicine just because that is probably like my number one trigger is like feeling altered in some way. I did not want to take a pill and feel f different. Better, sure, but not feel like I just took a drug. Anyway, my doctor heard all of this and she prescribed me 25 milligrams of Zoloft. She said, if you take this, I really believe that you'll feel so much better in just a couple weeks. I bought it. I did not want to take it. I remember just thinking about taking it, sent me into a spiral where I'm just sobbing because I was so scared, but I did. And just like she said, a couple weeks later, I felt like myself again. Truly words cannot describe how grateful I am that this medicine worked. It's an emotional, personal subject, but cheers. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was gonna share all that, but it would have been so helpful if I heard somebody say that while I was really struggling. Oh, and most importantly, I don't even slightly feel altered. It's just, I guess, all happening out of sight, and that's exactly what the doctor ordered. Oh, I have to add cinnamon. Let's see. The appreciation that I now have for coffee and for sweets is unreal. I used to not have a sugar tooth. I was much more of a savory tooth kind of gal. But ever since I cut it out of my life, I can't get enough, which is actually a bummer. <laughs> I want to make it clear that this is just an appetizer to the brunch that I have planned in my mind because right now I want to get my body moving. I was thinking of doing a little yoga. And after that, I think I'll shower, get ready, and go to this little cafe right by my house that has the best avocado toast I've ever had. Bananas are so banana-y. You know what? I stand by that statement. A little spritz in my hurt with my multi-surface cleaner. There's something about those bottles that are just fun to squeeze, to go ch ch, -ch. Ah! Man, I am feeling productive today. I wish I could say this is how I am all the time, but this is a good day. You know what I mean. We have our productive good days and our lazy good days. They're all important. It's all about balance. Right now, it's a productive one. Now let's do a little yoga. Yoga with Adrian on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna do an 11 minute morning yoga practice. like I'm in a dreamy state. The only thing that broke my focus was when I faced this way, I saw my neighbor through the window brushing their hair, watching me. I'm ever so slightly sweaty, which is good. I like that. And now I'm gonna hop into the shower. This angle has me feeling like I'm flying, Jack. gnarly, but it brushes out so easily. Put 
it in a bun. BRB, I'm gonna slather lotion all over my body. Let's go do my makeup. I'm picking out a YouTube video to watch as I spruce up my face. That was perfect timing. The YouTube video that I was watching finished right as I finished my makeup. Here it is. And now I'm going to pick out an outfit. Actually, let me adjust that lighting a little bit. So it's a beautiful day, but it's chilly outside. And I was thinking <laughs> this is that in jacket form. Maybe these jeans, we'll see. I'll just throw in a little undershirt. Okay, bada boom. Bada bang. Love that it goes with my nails. Ah. Now I'm just going to do my hair. I think I'm gonna cheat today and do the front of my hair and let the rest dry naturally. And I'm ready to go. Okay. I definitely should style the whole thing because that would 10 out of 10 look good. But overall, it's fine and I'm hungry. So I say we just skedaddle as is. A little spritz of vanilla before we go. And then the unthinkable happened. The worst has happened. The avocado toast place that I have been dreaming about all day was closed. And I felt such devastation in that moment. But it's okay. I pivoted and I instead went to a French cafe that I've been to once before and it wasn't very successful. But maybe I just ordered the wrong thing on the menu. Maybe today is all about giving that French place a second chance. This looks really good. I haven't had kiwi in so long. Mmm, raspberry. Every bite of that fruit was delicious. And now for the veggie sandwich I got. I may just be hungry, but that was really good. I've had a beautiful morning with you and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. I am going to wolf down this food now and I wolf you. Oh, okay. And here is all the love just for you.